new hobby and keep warm this winter at the same time. We have just the thing for you. Here to tell us all about knitting and crocheting is Jessica Owens from Weeding Works. Welcome to the show. This Thank is you. one of your creations, yes. right? Yeah, I like this. That's gorgeous. Thank you. I've had it for about four years and I wear it most days. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank all you. right, well, let's talk about um, obviously, you're really good at this. And you even brought what you're doing right now. Yeah. So you're already way ahead of me. I need the big giant knitting needles about sure. the size of a baseball bat yeah. to do this. Um, how did you get started? Um, my grandma taught me when I was about five years old and I've been knitting off and on. I think in college I picked it up and just never put it down again. What do you feel when you're knitting? Um, usually a mixture of like, like I'm possessed. Lord, <laughs> I'm kind of possessed. I want to watch this. <laughs> no, it's like it gives you a purpose. Like it yeah. was when I was waiting, I was knitting. It mm -hmm. it makes you more patient. Do you um, take it everywhere? Everywhere, yeah. Um, when I used to ride the bus, it was the best thing ever. When I used to wait in line at school, it was the best thing ever. In my wow. lectures, it was the best thing ever. Um, so, so you knit while you're learning something. Yeah, for me, it's a kinesthetic memory tool. So I kind of have a better retention when I'm. Moving Isn't my that hands. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. That's fascinating. And so, can anyone learn to do this? I believe that anyone can learn to knit or crochet um, if they have the right determination. I think that nobody learns how to do anything well if they aren't really into it to begin okay. with. Um, I've taught a lot of beginning classes and there's a huge difference between people who are like, oh, my sister signed me up so that we could do this together and I just really want to knit something special for my first grandchild or I want to knit my wedding shawl. Uh, okay, yeah. so those yeah. are like, there's, you know, yeah, uh, the whole spectrum. Up the gamut of that. There, I'm fascinated with yarns and uh -huh. I, I think I could learn now. I tried to learn as a kid, but there was a lot of counting involved and my mind okay. would wander and, yeah. you know, so some, some lengths would be 18 stitches and some would be 20. <laughs> sure. and that doesn't turn out that well. But if I were concentrating now, how would I get started? Um, I think most people start with, at least with knitting, it's two pointy sticks, crochet is a hook. <laughs> um, right. You get two pointy sticks and you pick out some yarn that you like. Um, you might not want to pick the most expensive thing under the sun because it's probably going to be undone Practice. and yeah. redone and right. undone and redone. Um, and basically, if you can either, depends on how you learn, if you're better in a group of people and you learn from watching others do, mm -hmm. then taking a class, a group class, is probably your best bet. Um, if you're pretty self-sufficient and you like being able to like look at steps without them moving, books can actually work quite right. well. Um, but really all you need is a tool, so pointy sticks or a hook, and yarn. And go. Yeah. So what's the big difference between knitting and crocheting? Um, the tools. So the tools, um, these are knitting needles. These are pretty basic straight needles that most people start with um, right. to begin with. And then crochet uses a hook, mm -hmm. a crochet hook. <laughs> um, and what happens is the structure of the two fabrics are a little bit different. So knitting we're all a little bit more familiar with. It's what our t-shirts are made out of and our tights and our sweaters are made out of. So everybody kind of has an idea of what that looks like mm -hmm. beforehand. Crochet is dealing with one stitch at a time. Um, and it can go in any di different direction. So if you're very artistic, sometimes freeform crochet, you can make sculptures, et cetera, out of it without having oh, any thoughts ahead of, ahead of you. Whereas knitting, once the stitches are on the needle, you have to contend with each and every one of them lest they f come off and fall apart. Right, and this roundness is for sleeves and things right. like that, that you you're gonna hats. sew the edges together, hats right. like hats that. Right, hats and socks. Um, some people will knit entire sweaters on round needles. Um, you can knit back and forth on round needles too. They're a little bit more ergonomic now, than these. what is this? Yeah, that's an interchangeable needle set. <laughs> Let me there hold it up. So that's an interchangeable needle set, and what it is is it's a series of tips of needles that then connect to cables like this, so you can make circular needles. We call these circular needles. Right. Um, these tend to be really ergonomic, even when you're knitting flat pieces like a mm -hmm. scarf, because the weight sits in the middle of your lap, as opposed to being cantilevered off of the side of a stick. So if you have you are any, scientific about yeah. this, aren't you? <laughs> if you have any like body issues, we usually recommend that you switch to these. Although they're not as self-evident when you're very when you're first starting as a straight needle. Now you brought some beautiful things. Yeah. Are, are these all things that you've made? No. Um, so my coworkers and I made most of these actually. Isn't that beautiful? All of these things. Yeah. So this is a shrug that was designed by one of my coworkers. Um, it's made out of a mohair and a lace weight yarn. So it's actually mohair, silk, and yak all together. So wow. this is something you can do. You can mix different yarns together. So there's two strands in here and there's one strand in the cuffs. And then over there is a, a knit sweater that has, yeah. I don't know if that's, that's not really, is that a cable knit stitch? This on the is front? actually a lace stitch. Um, it's, this is kind of a more classic sweater cardigan style. 
Um, this is a worsted weight wool, which is what most people start knitting with, and that's, that's a little the size of yarn where the needles aren't too clumsy. Like the big needles, they go really fast, but they're hard to hold. Right. And then there's kind of a point where things get really, really fiddly, and those are also hard to hold. So this is easy on the eyes and easy on the hands to Great. start with. And then the beautiful scarf, yeah. which is often what people start with, right? Maybe not a, a striped one, but you can begin. Stripes are really easy. Are they Horizontal easy? Horizontal stripes are one of the easiest things you can do oh, in beginning man. knitting to do to have more fun when you're knitting. Um, there's even yarns that self-stripe, like these two will actually yes. change color on their yes. own, so you don't even have to do anything. That is brilliant. Right. <laughs> so, uh, do you teach? I do. And so we're going to put on the website where awesome. we can find yes. you for classes. Um, I might need to start in the remedial yes. group, but no such thing. I can. <laughs> I swear I can do this. I just, there's some amazing things here. So thank you very much. Thank you. This is another new thing to sort of clear our minds for the new year. We'll be right back. 